Hey everyone, we are excited. It's November 1st and you know what November is? It means there's a lot to be thankful for. Yes, the first thing that we're thankful for today is it's the two year anniversary for one of our rock star agents, Ashley Hicks. Yeah, way to go Ashley. So we're so thankful for you. Uh, a lot of other things we're thankful for. We're thankful for our clients, our friends, people that we've done business with over the years. And um, man, it's just what a wonderful time of year it is, it is just to express that to you all. The third and final thing we're thankful for is all of our great vendors and our relationships with our other partners and fellow real estate agents. Now you said final. I think we need to include our families in there too. Otherwise they might get a little offended. So I'm going to throw in families because you know what? We, we couldn't we go them without a lot of them. things. That's for sure. Absolutely. So uh, one of the other things we want to capture with you is what's going on in the market. Mike, take it away. Yeah. So I'm um, going to give you a little uh, image here. If you want to screenshot that we're talking about active inventory and how that plays out. So in Williamson County, today 993 active homes for sale but interesting fact 68 percent 68 percent only of those are existing homes resale homes last month october 318 closings and 74 percent of those were existing homes or resales those are some interesting numbers and what it shows is it is still a little bit of a seller's market because we're only at like three months of inventory with all that uh, roughly. The market is slowing, but we're still low on inventory. Yeah, it's important when we're looking at the closings that we always factor in the homes that contracted over a year ago, those new construction homes. So that big, big number is always deceiving until we dig down deeper and get into the details. Yeah, and that's what we like to do. Yep. Uh, and share that stuff with you guys. And that's what we're all about with this video is making sure that you guys are in the know and we've got more info to share with you yep. on that front. If you want to know what's going on more locally in your neighborhood per se, click the link below and we can uh, get you set up on market reports and that way there you can be in the know, you can help your neighbors if they're thinking about selling or talking about it, you can say, hey, you need to talk to these guys because they're in the know so that you're in the know. Exactly. And so one of the things we want to highlight in this video is some pros and cons about buying your home in this market. And it's a great market right now for moving locally. We've seen and helped a lot of folks in the last three months move locally because that is available now. It wasn't uh, six, eight months ago, uh, back for over a year, that was a really hard thing. So some pros and cons of buying a home. So what are the pros of buying a home right now? Well, you've got more inventory than we've had, like five times the inventory that we had just going back as short as six months ago. One of the other things is that you can now get a home inspection where a few yeah. months ago, that wasn't even, yep. you know, an option for you. You could always get it, but you know, most sellers yeah. wouldn't uh, do anything for you. Yeah. Well, you were having to compete in multiple offers and now that's not as yeah. common. So you get some more leverage on your side. So other things, the uh, seller is a little bit more negotiable. So you can negotiate on price. You can negotiate on closing costs. What other things mm -hmm. could you possibly do now well, that you didn't do before? Uh, appraisals are back into play. So yeah. that's a real key one, you know, especially if you are in a position where you need to get a loan. So, uh, you and know, getting a loan is good again, right? It's not that uh, everybody's only buying with cash because you were having to beat out cash offers. Now, if you're not competing, you can go up to an offer yep. and bring a loan to the to the table and still get that offer done. Mike said something important that locals are moving locally. So that's really a key thing. So sale of home contingencies are also in play where they weren't, you know, several months ago. So yeah. there are a lot of options. Now that's the good. Yeah. Mike, so what's wrong and what are the cons of buying a home in this market? Joey and I put our brains together and can think of really only one negative thing with buying a house right now. And it's that the interest rate is up and probably continuing to go up throughout the rest of this year. Absolutely. So what's the only, the only one thing to follow up on that is rates do come back down and your house is refinanceable, right? You can refinance the mortgage later. So it's not necessarily a lifetime uh, negative. It's a short term negative. And that's historical, right? So we, we've seen that, you know, go everything back that forth. goes up does come down. Yep. So <laughs> um, that's the uh, market report for this month. Again, in case you didn't snapshot that before, grab these numbers. 
Um, we'll have those highlighted in the uh, text as well.